So, this will be a quick uh, video, I guess, down the little side streets uh, in between Walking Street and Walking Street. So, I'm here at Envy and I'm going down um, I think, oh, Raymond Street. We're going to call it real. But it's this is Raymond Street. You have uh, Mother India next to next to Phillies. It's closed on Mondays. Mother India. Angelis. Oh, Angelis is family fun place. I guess it's not Mother India. Oh, yes it is. To be honest, I don't, I don't know what it's called. I just know that the pizza's no good. All right? Who goes to an Indian place to eat pizza, right? This dumbass right here. Um, so this is a shawarma bar and grill. Las Vegas bar. Uh, Kev's Pub and Grub. This place, still the same status. I'll take you down here real quick before I take you down Raymond. Um, I think this is real street. To be honest, I, I don't even know. No, ma'am, thank you. So, yeah, this is uh, the body shop. Now, this is a massage place, a clean massage place. They, they, that's what they advertise. I'm not just making it up. Um, and this, this used to be, I forgot what this was, but you know, this, this bar has now changed. It is now a Shobu bar. Shobu bar. And then this, this bar right here, Trop, Tropics, right? It was Tropics. Looks to be out of business. So, it says that they're looking for girls, but I'm assuming they're looking for girls to go somewhere else. So, here you go. Here's this. Oh. I've taken over this little uh, this this pretty this little area back here. Crystal Palace is still back here. Crystal Palace. Yes, it's November, but the next holiday is Christmas and they go all in. As soon as Halloween is over, it's time to get ready for Christmas. Countdown calendars and everything. Um, yeah, they're building here. But again, I don't know how much progress has been made. It seems like every time I come, it's the same thing. There are places that you, you actively see the building like See, you see um, those construction machines, those lifts and all that stuff over there. That's one euphoria. Um, there is, if you go to Central Park, as a matter of fact, I'll show you right now. They have a display unit. I actually went there the other day um, to see what the prices were. I think the cheapest one is mm, six million, six million pesos. They have a six million. I, from what I recall, there's a there's one that is six million, and I think it's uh, sixty square meters. There's um, one that's eight million, which is eighty four or eighty five square meters, and then there was one that was ten million, but I forgot what that. Uh, how many square meters that one was? Probably 100, right? Or 90. Uh, this is the display unit for 
one euphoria that's what one euphoria is going to look like and this is this is the display unit this is the one that's um 80 the 84 square feet there's a there's a whole staff there who will uh assist you in taking a look at this display she'll walk you through it she'll show you um the, the different To show you the different rooms and talk to you about the, the other rooms and what type of clients what kind of clients they have and so forth but it's not going to be here it's going to be on a santos it's it's between it's between the bars and winds winds hotel you know you don't have to walk down as far as winds but yeah so this is valentino's here one thing, one thing that was interesting was we noticed this. They're building something here, and the construction is going pretty fast. Probably was a hole in the wall, uh, a hole in the floor, what, uh, six months ago, and now this is where we're at. So this is more, this is more in line with uh, the pacing of construction here in the Philippines. Another thing about um, One Euphoria was um, I think everything needs to be paid within 24 months. So you have pretty much two years. You do a 20%, it's a 20% down payment and then you're paying 40% within 23 months and on the 24th month, the other 40% is due. So that, that's, that's how it was explained to me for anyone who's curious. But by all means, feel free to check it out. Take a look. Said they have a lot of uh, people who are um, pilots, doctors, people looking for an investment, as well, an investment opportunity is what they said. Feel free to comment in the comments in regards to any of this stuff. More than happy to uh, hear what you guys think. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> this is Orchard Inn. The Jasmine Wing. Good morning. And, um, yeah. And now here we are. Um, this is that other end of Raymond Street where the bars are. This used to all be bars before, I guess in the golden in the golden age era. But now you'll see this this place has turned into a uh it's not even a restaurant yet, but it it looks like it's going to become a restaurant and they have everything all kind of set up. This place is massage and a salon. Set up. This place I have seen open. And then these are the two remaining bars here on Raymond Street. It's very early, so there's no one here, which is, I guess, good for me in terms of doing this video. I don't like to disturb people. But, yeah. So, yeah. Pub and an apartel. Now, I'm gonna take you down this little uh, side street. This is, I, see, Phillies is down there. I just made that turn on that particular street. But now I'm gonna turn on this street and show you. This is Old Mate's Pub and Apartel. This place, I'm told it's a comedy bar, but I don't believe that. To be honest, I believe that this is a gay bar. This is where this is where guys come for, you know, that other stuff. So Yeah. And what made me curious about what what made me think that is there there I've seen some guys that they uh they were dressed um different to say the least. They were dressed different. You know you know the lady boys are, they 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 dressed up, but you can you can tell that they're you can tell what they're trying to do. 
But these 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 gentlemen that I saw, have real short shorts, and I don't want to judge. But as soon as they spoke, I knew, I knew. You know, they had that they had that tone. So, and I believe that that place has something to do with that. And I've seen some women here. I've seen some uh, female, seen some female travelers. And I want to say that they are female mongers. They are looking for what a lot of guys who come here are looking for. But they're, they're looking for guys in that respect. I, I feel. Or maybe they're looking for ladies too. But the, the, the place is changing. You know, the, the, uh, <laughs> the, the playing field is changing. So, yeah. This is, this is Queen's Hotel right here. This this steakhouse is probably the best the best place to get steak, burgers, um, and stuff like that. Really good quality. Um, yeah. So even if you're not staying there, I would recommend uh, coming through and checking it out. So this is this is pretty much it. This is this is another side street. I, when I stayed at Queen's Hotel, the thing that I really liked was that I could go down this side this street here. And not have to deal with, you know, the, the people traffic and uh, the car traffic that come and all the noise, pretty much the, all types of traffic that you get on the main on the main fields road street. But you don't get any of that when you walk down this little side street here, and you you can end up pretty much close to uh, Margarita, Margarita Station, or Manson Drug, you know. Sometimes that's that's just where you're going and it's kind of a hassle just to go through, you know, the loud music, the, the cars passing by and people passing by, people asking for money, things like that. None of that when you walk down that little side street. It's like stealth mode. It's awesome. But um yeah. That's some you know, you got you got these bars here. But I don't know how successful these bars are. You know? Angel Witch Bar, they have a back door. See, these bars have changed names often. And I'm assuming it's because they have they have those um they have those long time well the long time rates that they have on the uh pretty much on fields and friendship but bars on Raymond and Santos also have a short time rate so I'm assuming that and and those bars aren't even really doing that well now so I mean I, I don't I don't give these these bars too much of a chance to survive for too long I mean, that's probably why they're always change, they're often changing hands and things like that. But feel free to comment if you know if you know more about this, or if you have any opinions, you know, that you like to share in regards to those particular bars, etc., etc. I would I should take you down Santos, but that's probably going to be another video. This is Ariel Pence signing off from. I'm not sure what street I'm on, but I'm on it. Adios.